Good evening. I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, it was announced that Max Anderson and Bryce Matthews are officially collegiate baseball All-Americans. Anderson was a second team selection after a tremendous 2023 season, hitting 414 with 20 doubles, two triples, 21 home runs, and 70 runs batted in. This accolade adds to his unanimous first team All-Big Ten honoree. Bryce earned a third team selection after his historic junior year, hitting 359 at the plate with 11 doubles, two triples, 20 home runs, and 67 RBIs. Matthews was also a first team All Big Ten selection and the only Husker with 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in a single season. The Husker volleyball team has been busy since leaving for Brazil on Monday, and you swept the Brazilian U19 club Minas TC in Belo Horizonte this afternoon. The sets went 25-8, 25-12, and 25-13 for the Big Red. You can keep up to date on their adventures in South America through the Husker Volleyball social media accounts. The Women College World Series is here, and two games are already in the books. Fourth-ranked Tennessee handled fifth-ranked Alabama 10-5, and the number one team in the country, Oklahoma, shut out Stanford 2-0. Currently in a weather, weather delay is third-ranked Florida State and number six, Oklahoma State. And later tonight, seventh-ranked Washington will take on 15th-ranked Utah. After battling off a Celtics comeback in the conference finals, Jimmy Butler and the Heat are now tested with the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals. Game one will be played tonight in Colorado with a tip-off set for 7.30 on ABC. And finally, just a few uh, MLB scores to report this afternoon. The Padres routed the Marlins 10-1. The Mets bested the Phillies 4-2, the Blue Jays topped the Brewers 3-1, and the Diamondbacks held on against the Rockies 5-4. And later tonight, the Reds play the Red Sox in Fenway Park, the Guardians visit the Twins, and the Angels will match up with the Astros. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student-athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now get ready for a full two hours of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers Radio Network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Heinrich, long count, turns, gives it off to Gabe Irvin, left side. Gabe stiff arms a man, is in the end zone for a touchdown off the left end. Good. Yes. <laughs> it's a gold star stiff arm by 22 to 5 Pater. And the White extends their lead to 12 0. Two on the play clock. Mertz lifts the leg, gets his shotgun snap, back to throw, has some time, rolling out, steps, throws downfield. The pass is going to be intercepted. Malcolm Hartzog at the 45 to midfield, down the far sideline, inside the Badger 40 to the 38 yard line. Malcolm Hartzog's third pick of the year. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. Thank you. Welcome to our final show of the week. We start our best of Fridays during the summer months tomorrow night. So this is your last chance to get at me for the week. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. 402-413-2400, the number to call or fire off a text. Glad to be with you for one more night this week. We'll be back on Monday. Jessica also will return from vacation on Monday as well. Heck of a show lined up for you. Jake Muleheisen, our own Jake Muleheisen, who does Husker men's basketball with Kent Pavelka is going to join us here in just a little bit to talk about the big news that we dropped during the program last night, and that was that KC Tomananga is coming back for his senior campaign. Man, a lot of people excited. Just social media exploded last night uh, with that news. I was on one of our affiliates earlier today. They are so pumped about it. I, I mean, I, there are going to be a lot of excitement at PBA for next basketball season with that news of Kese coming back. So Jake's going to recap that and kind of talk about the roster, what he sees this team, what the what what it looks like to him uh, as it's almost a complete picture. They still have a scholarship or two that they could play with, but I think for the most part, what the group they have assembled is going to be the group they're going to go into the next season uh, doing battle with. So looking forward to chatting with Jake here in a little bit. Next week, twenty Husker. Track and field athletes are headed to the NCAA championships in Austin, Texas. The men are in the top, I think they're sixth ranked. The women are ninth. So both teams have a shot to really do some damage on the national scene. We're going to talk to high jumper Mikey Hoffer uh, coming up in hour number two. Mikey qualified last week out in Sacramento 
uh, one of the captains of the men's squad. Looking forward to chatting with Mikey in the second hour of the program. Saturday night in Kearney, a little football skirmish going to go on Saturday. It's the Shrine Bowl, the 65th annual Nebraska Shrine Bowl will take place at UNK Stadium. Doug Duda, our friend and our part of our affiliate family out in the Tri-Cities area, is going to be a part of the television crew for that matchup. He's going to join us in hour number two to just to talk about some of the particulars and some of the things that you have a chance to see or be watching on Saturday night. So looking forward to chatting to Doug. Love the Shrine Bowl. Love what it's about. Love that it raises money for the hospitals. And the Shriners hospitals around this country do an amazing job helping young f- kids, families who are dealing with a really tough time in their lives. And so what a great cause. The game is so well supported in Kearney. And I know the folks will turn out in big numbers Saturday night for uh, the matchup between the North and the South. But we'll get to some of the particulars from all that from Doug in the second hour of the program. We're keeping an eye on the NBA Finals game one tonight. I'm going Nuggets in five. I think that Miami gets one, but I just think Denver's a big favorite in this series. I like the Nuggets have for a month. I think I was the only one on this show that picked them to win the Western Conference Finals a couple weeks ago. So looking looking forward to that, 739. And I got a question, and I know a lot of you, a lot of you do not are not big NBA fans, so this is probably not going to fire a lot of people up, and that's why I'm not leading the show with it. But I got a little question to ask you. Would you make it? Would it make you more interested if, if this certain thing would happen? We'll dive into that later on in the program. That's called a tease, right there, folks. That's what that that's called, right there. Uh, the stadium's getting all spruced up. They're working, testing some of the boards because this will be one of the first big recruiting weekends of the summer. June's a big month. July is a quiet period, dead period for recruiting, but June is incredibly active because kids are out of school. So you have the high school players are out of school. They can go travel. They can get places. They can spend a couple days on campus, really do a deep dive into these programs. So Huskers are expecting a couple of four stars this weekend, a lot of three stars uh, this weekend to come into town and and check out Husker football, what it's about, meet the staff, meet to see the facilities, see the update of the Go Big project, all those type of things. So they're getting it ready. Uh, It'll be a, a fun weekend down here. This probably isn't the biggest one, of the month but it's 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 a sizable one for nebraska football and always as you know recruiting is the lifeblood of any program so it'll be a big weekend for uh matt rural and the staff to make an impression on some young prospective student athletes so uh, that'll be fun to do hey did you hear this today the sec has been wrapping up some meetings this week and one of the things that they have been debating is whether to go to play nine games Nine conference games. I mean, it's such an unbelievable concept. I mean, who could have thought of wanting to play nine conference games? You know, let's see, your, your league is already, what, at, at 16 teams? My, why would you want to play nine? Let's keep it at eight, right? Oh, my goodness. I mean, you think about all the leagues that play nine now. We, the Big Ten does. The Big 12 does. The Pac-12 does. Uh, but they have voted for 2024, next year, when they're adding two more teams, Oklahoma and Texas, to keep it at eight conference games. Now, with the caveat, oh, and this is well, this is big of them to do, with the caveat that every school is supposed to play a non-conference game against a power five conference. So one of their non-conference games needs to be against a power five school. Well, the Big Ten doesn't mandate that. They strongly recommend it. Nebraska's always done it. I mean, we're playing Colorado this year. We've played Oklahoma the last couple years. We got a date with Tennessee coming up. That'll be fun. Uh, Our our friend Scott Docterman, who we had on the program just last night, he covers Iowa for the Athletic. He put up a great tweet about an hour ago when the news came out that the SEC has uh, has approved staying with eight conference games, even though they're adding OU in Texas next year. This is from Scott today. Teams that will play... 10 or more Power 5 opponents this year. So 10 or more. And in the Big Ten, that would mean you play your league schedule and you play one more. So for Nebraska, you play your nine league games in Colorado. So that counts. So Nebraska's 10. The ACC, of their 15 schools, and I'm counting Notre Dame in this number, 10 of those 15 meet that requirement, that they're going to play 10 or more 
conference games. The Big Ten, 13 out of 14 schools in the Big Ten will play 10 or more Power 5 teams in their regular season. Nebraska falls into being one of the 13. I'll let you mull for a moment who the one exception is in the Big Ten that's not doing that. It might surprise you. The Big 12, 11 of their 14 schools are. And I haven't looked at it, but I would, I would wonder kind of what does, you know, what, what has Cincinnati done, the, some of those new schools that they're adding, what is Houston doing? I, I don't know. I haven't dug in. The, I don't know which of the three are missing in the Big 12, but 11 of the 14. So let me recap here. In the Pac-12, 10 of the 12 are playing at least 10, maybe more, games against Power 5 schools. So the ACC, 10 of 15. So what is that? My math's not great. Two-thirds? That's kind of low, actually. Big 10, 13 out of 14. Almost 100% of the Big 10 teams play 10 or more Power 5 schools. Big 12, 11 of 14. So they're off a little bit. Pac-12, 10 of 12. The SEC, folks, I'm going to let you make a guess. Say it in your car. Say it to your neighbor. Say it to your wife. Say it to your buddy you're sitting there on the porch with right now. Of their 14 schools, two of them will play 10 or more Power 5 schools. Two! Two of the SEC schools. So that means, because they're only playing eight conference games, that only two schools are playing in their four non-cons against two teams from Power 5 leagues. Now you talk about putting weight on the scales. I mean, that's the SEC. I mean, come on. You... And not that there's not good teams that you could play maybe from the Sun Belt or the AAC or whatever league. Maybe it's an independent team you play that aren't good, competent teams. But come on. Two of their 14. All right. In the chat room, Crypto got it right. Michigan, by gosh, is the team that does not play a non-conference game for the second year in a row, by the way, for the Wolverines, if not, do not play a Power 5 school in their non-conference, Michigan. And oh, by the way, who made the playoff last year? So that, that's, I mean, so big of the SEC to now put it in a requirement that some, you got to play at least one power. The problem is going to be is, I mean, if, if that's going into effect next year, most people have their schedule set a couple of years out. I don't know how the heck they're going to do that. I don't know how the heck they're going to go find a Power 5 school that's got an opening in their schedule in one year to put them on. Maybe they can do it. I don't know. I mean, but my gosh, that is so crazy. Great, uh, great uh, bit of work by Scott Docterman. So I certainly want to give him credit. Scott's a terrific writer. If you if you subscribe to The Athletic, you probably read a lot of Scott's stuff, and we're grateful to be able to use him from time to time as a contributor for us. But that that was amazing. When I saw that today, when he put that out about an hour ago, that was unbelievable. But, hey, it works, right? I mean, practically every year in the playoff, we're getting two SEC teams in there, you know, but my, their league is so tough. By gosh, we just can't play anybody tough outside the outside of our league schedule because that would just be wrong if we did that to, to try to play somebody outside that. So that and Michigan, come on, do better. Do better, Michigan. I mean, this year I think it's East Carolina they play. Um I know last year they had UConn. Uh, last year they had Hawaii and UConn. That's who they played in the non-conferences. I don't have it in front of me right now, but Michigan does not play a Power 5 team in their non-league. And that's kind of unlike Michigan a little bit. It really is. That, that's usually – they usually uh, are better than that. So crazy stuff. All right, um, that's it for now. I've got a, some other really juicy things that I'm going to get into a little bit later on in the program, but I don't want to hold Jake – in limbo too long. We want to talk some Husker hoops and the great news that we all got last night with Kase uh, announcing that he's going to be uh, a corn husker for one more year. But I do have time to tell you to buckle up, put that phone down. That is a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. 402-413-2400. That's the number. Memorize it. Put it in your phone. Lock it in. Put it in your contacts. Text, call. Love to hear from you tonight here on a Thursday night of Sports Sunday. Jake's back next. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm broadcasting student Ann Gallagher with Campus News. 26 Husker students presented research findings on nuclear deterrence to a panel of U.S. Strategic Command officials at STRATCOM headquarters in Bellevue. 
The student-led presentation was the culmination of a semester of STRATCOM guided research and the latest in a years-long partnership between STRATCOM and the National Security Studies Program at Nebraska. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart, on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get high chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars during the month of June. Get four one pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars now to the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd-pleasing, award-winning High V Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Baseball season has arrived, and your local Cenex has all your favorite snacks and beverages for the game. So whether you're hitting the road for an away game, headed to Haymarket Park, or going to cheer on your favorite local team, make Cenex your destination for top quality fuel, your favorite snacks, and service from a local smile. Fuel your fandom at your local Cenex station. Husker Pride, powered locally at Cenex. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a big mistake. Hey, Joe, think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have the utilities marked before you start digging? I'm not digging very deep. It's no big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Dad, the TV's out. Internet, too. Remember, safe digging always starts with a free call to 811. Oh, what a knucklehead. Brought to you by Nebraska 811. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. 
We're back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest's premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Husker Nation is still buzzing today after last night's announcement that Casey Tominaga would be coming back for the Huskers for another season. So who better to talk Husker hoops than Jake Muehlheisen, who joins us today. What was your reaction last night, Jake, when you heard the news? I loved it. I mean, uh, you, you watch that video, Greg, and you, uh, you start to think it's basketball season. And with what with what Keze did in February and March, I mean, he was kind of the buzz of Husker Nation. My kids went to all the games, and that's all they talked about. That he's a fan favorite of everybody. And if you recall, when we had a alumni weekend, uh, uh, Bryce McGowan's was back to that camp with Keze, and the line for Keze's autograph was longer than Bryce McGowan. So that's how big. Uh, of a name he is in town, especially amongst the youth here. And he's such an important player and a, an important piece of the puzzle for Fred and his group that um, I'm pretty excited for it, and he's going to be a, a big piece. And now Fred's saying that he put on a bunch of weight and got bigger, stronger. So um, I'll, I'll believe that when I see it, but I'm, I'm definitely excited for KZ to be back. Well, it's got people buzzing about it, and it's been a while since we've really been able to say that about Husker Hoops, and that's why people, I think, are already counting down the days to November when this thing gets going. Now, that's a big part of it, but to me, part of the magic last year, and you may have a different opinion on this, but was Derek Walker's ability to get him the ball in his spots where he could really hurt teams. Derek was, a, I thought, a phenomenal passer. How about filling his role? What with uh, I guess Rink Mast is the guy from Bradley that may get the first crack at doing that. Yeah, you're spot on. I mean, Derek was such a good passer, and you, you heard Fred Hoiberg say, you know, he was kind of our point center a lot of the time where he was bringing the ball up the floor, could handle it, uh, really found KZ a lot, especially on those backdoor cuts uh, when KZ was moving without the ball. But I think Mass can fill that role. I think he's probably not quite as good a passer, but he has that ability. He can handle the rock. But what he does do that Derek couldn't is he can shoot the perimeter shot. So he brings another dimension from that aspect where he can stretch the defense, uh, shoot the ball from, from the perimeter. But he will try to fill Derek's role and really getting us into our offense, and he'll try to find KZ and other shooters spotting up on the perimeter. Jake, how much do you think this staff learned about dealing with the portal last year, and do you think that that's helped them as they've picked through these names over the last couple of months to put together this year's roster? I think it's helped them a lot, and I, I say that because I think in years past when you're in that transfer portal where you're just going for best available, best talent, best player, and may not be the the best fit, but I think they were really trying to find that guy that is a really good fit from not only a playing standpoint, but from a teammate standpoint. And I say that because if you look at that, that roster we had on the court in the last handful of games, you know, you have Sam Hoiberg out there who played really well, but we weren't always the most talented out there, but we played smart, we played together, we were unselfish, and we played hard. I mean, the recipe's not that difficult, but you have to have guys that buy in, and they, they don't care who scores on a given night. So I think that's what they, they went after. They went out really after talented guys, but guys that want to win and play the right way. All right. You saw Eulis, the point guard, the transfer from Iowa a couple times up close. What do you remember of him, and, and how do you think he's going to fit into what you were just laying out? I think, I think he's a big piece. We needed a true point guard, and he has, he's proven. He's proven at the Power 5 level. Um, he's, I think he's a better shooter than what he showed while he was at Iowa, but a really good defender. He's 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 he's long, um, but he'll find his teammates. He can get to the rim. If he can be a guy that can shoot the ball early on in the season just to make teams respect him and make them guard him on the perimeter, I think he'll be a big piece. But he's a proven point guard, a true point guard, and Fred needs that in his system. Obviously, losing Sam Greasel, who – really was the the key to our offense and bringing the ball down the floor had the ball so often i think ulis will be that guy this season you know um there's a lot of parts to be excited about with some of these other guys the, the transfer from charlotte i think is going to be a nice addition but to me if if Jawan gary can get right can get healthy that shoulder's much better I mean, this guy at times last year was really good, Jake. What what, what did you like about Juwan, and, and are you optimistic that he's going to be healed up and ready to go by November? Yeah, you're you're right. It's funny when I when I'm talking with people, with coworkers, friends, or whatnot. Juwan's kind of forgotten for whatever reason, but 
he was such a key piece early in the season. He's a high energy guy and he's a guy that can average eight, 10, 11 rebounds a game. He's extremely explosive. I just hope that not only does he come back healthy, but hopefully he just worked on his perimeter shooting because that was kind of what was lacking. He showed some flashes, but he's not a consistent three point shooter, but if he can come in, shoot the ball well from the perimeter, he's going to be extremely important. He's going to be our best defender. He can guard one through five. So that's how important he is. And when you saw when he got hurt, that's when we dropped off defensively until we really started playing better team defense. But he's a big key to next year's team. Jake, Jawan's a starter for this team, if healthy, right? Yeah, he, he has to be. He's, he's, uh, he's a guy that does everything for this team, like I said. So he has to be on the floor at the beginning of the game. He can guard anybody. He'll be, he'll, his assignment will be to guard the other team's best player for sure. All right, um, I'm going to ask you about another of the newcomers. It's a guy from Lincoln, and we had such a great feel-good story last year with Sam coming back. But Josiah Alec, who played at North Star, his high school ball, he's been at UMKC at New Mexico, big-bodied guy. But uh, your thoughts about getting Josiah part of the program? Yeah, I think it's it's great to have a Lincoln kid. Obviously, I'm a little biased towards Lincoln kids, but I think it's I think it's great to have a guy from here on the team. He knows what it's about. And he's another high-energy guy. He, he's a guy that can average a double-double for this year's team. Really loves playing defense, loves to rebound, and just plays extremely hard. So another big-bodied guy, 6'9", 250, um, will be another big piece to this year's team. But I just, I just love having um, another Lincoln guy on the team. Yeah, me too. I think that those guys are really easy to root for, and they, they bring a certain group of people just to come out to the games to watch them play. Jamarcus Lawrence, Jake, the more I watched him last year, the more I liked his game. What, what do you like about him, and, and how much more is in there, do you think, as he con continues to develop and mature as a, a person and a player? Yeah, you watched him grow, especially when guys went down with injury. He got more minutes, and he was, he was big time in February and March. So he can play point guard if needed. Not a true point guard, but he can really shoot it, can get to the rim, an elite defender when he wants to be. So I'm just excited to have him. Jake Muehlheisen with us here on Sportsline. We're talking Husker basketball after the big news last night that Tominaga is coming back for his senior season. I had somebody the other day, Jake, say that they kind of felt like last year was in a lot of ways Coach Hoiberg's first year here. Almost a clean slate with the staff and, and kind of past the Abdel Mossy era of just bringing guys in. Do you see that logic? Is Do you see something about that, that this is kind of just, they kind of started the building blocks to put this thing together just last year, even though it was his fourth year on the bench? Yeah, I, a little bit. I think that if you look at it, that was kind of last year felt like kind of his foundation year. And, and that's what I think people are alluding to when, they were, when they're saying that. So they, they built a solid foundation. They really got the culture and that locker room where they wanted. And that's where I was saying earlier, they didn't care who scored on a given night. They were unselfish. They played hard. I think that's what um, you saw and why we got wins late in the season. And um, I do. It felt, kind of felt like Fred's first year, and let's hope he can build on that moving into next season. You like those guys on the staff? Love them. They're great guys. I mean, they we had so much fun on road trips talking to them at team dinner. So, yeah, really good guys. It sounds like we haven't seen the, the full non-conference schedule, but it does sound like they're maybe kind of backing off the pedal a little bit. You get roughed up so much with the – the, the, all the league games that are played uh, by by this team, I mean, there's no there's no ACC challenge now. That thing's gone away because of the ESPN contract. Uh, there's no tournament, unfortunately, for you and can't you know go get sit by a pool somewhere nice. Uh, but may, maybe a chance to build build some wins and confidence early in the year, which that that's kind of been missing, hasn't it, the last couple of years? Yeah, I was I I, I think and and you know this where. Baseball, football, basketball, confidence goes a long way. So you get some wins early on. It doesn't matter who you're playing. Um, obviously, winning against some Power 5 teams is good. But just getting wins, and especially when you have a newer team with you know five newcomers, um, I think it's important to get wins, and hopefully you can build some confidence. Well, I, I know you hear it. You're out in the community a lot. There is a buzz, and th this is fun, and it's going to be a, a fun year for you and Kent to get through. And I know you probably can't wait. I know you have some golf to play between now and then. But Absolutely. I'm sure, I'm sure, but I'm sure but come November, you're going to be excited for this thing. Yep, I will be, and I'm, I'm just excited for Fred, and, and, and I know Kent's excited for this team, and the size the, the, and what we have coming back, the coaching, I'm, I'm really excited for this season. Well, Jake, we appreciate it. Have a great summer. All right, thanks.
There he is, Jake Muehlheisen, uh, one of our great broadcasters for Husker basketball. Certainly looking forward to hearing him and KP come early November when the season gets cranked up. He joined us on our Sports Alley Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. They've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. All right, phone lines, text lines. Back open for you, 402-413-2400. We're back with more of the Hour One next. A DUI is everything you didn't prepare for. You did not save for it. You did not train for it. You did not go to school for it. You did not raise your family or buy a house or get a job for it. It is not your life goal or a dream come true. You have planned for everything in your life. You did not plan for a DUI. Get a ride. A DUI costs more than you think. Brought to you by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. It's time for some Nebraska farm facts. Want to know a fast way to rev up our Nebraska economy while helping the planet? It's right in your tank. When you fill up with clean soy-based biodiesel, you're increasing Nebraska biodiesel production while reducing greenhouse gases by up to 74%. So look for biodiesel where you fill up. It benefits our air, our economy, and our farmers. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at NebraskaChiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. There is no place like Nebraska, and there is no place that treats you like your home like Sap Brothers. For over 50 years, Sap Brothers has fueled America's heartland and has been a reliable partner to local farms, businesses, and Huskers fans across Nebraska. Providing the highest quality fuel, lubricants, and propane. Servicing your farming equipment and welcoming guests into our travel centers. Visit www.sapbros.net. Sap Brothers is proud to be an official partner of Huskers Athletics. Step up to the plate and hit a home run with your next vehicle at Woodhouse. We've got all the bases covered, from our family-friendly SUVs to our durable trucks to haul your gear. Plus, our team will treat you like an MVP and help find the vehicle that's right for you. Visit one of our 20 locations to score big on your next purchase. Or shop our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles online at woodhouse.com today. Back to throw, has some time, rolling out, steps, throws downfield, the pass is going to be intercepted, Malcolm Hartsock. Hey, Husker fans, tune in tomorrow for an encore presentation of Sports Nightly. In the 6 o'clock hour, we'll listen back to the Athletic Director's show with Trev Alberts. In the 7 o'clock hour, we'll go back to conversations with Taylor Christopoulos, Julian Asibe, and Isaiah Garcia Castaneda. Tune in to your local affiliates or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app. Go Big Red. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. 
First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> Think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, CY2000 through 2021 sales. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center. It is sponsored by Acres, the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Greg Sharp with you on a Thursday night. Thanks to Jake Muehlheisen for joining us. And I don't, if you're watching the YouTube stream, Jake appeared to be in an office. I don't know if he made that up because I, I think he spends a lot of time at the golf course. So I don't know if that was just kind of a green screen that he put up. No, he was... I think he was at work today. But, uh, good, to, good to have Jake joining us uh, instead of being out on the golf course tonight. But, man, I, I am. I, I, I was on a affiliate earlier today, and I said, it, it's fine to kind of be juiced up about Husker basketball. You have every right to be kind of fired up about that. It's, it's got the makings of some fun stuff going on next winter around here, both the men and women. I think the women are going to have a good team next year as well. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number to dot us up with a comment or question, or if you want to, Fire off a text. You can do that as well. Let's go to the phones. Out to Columbus. Dennis, you're up tonight. Good evening. Hey, Greg. This is Dennis. I talked to you out at San Diego watching Nebraska baseball. Yeah, how you feeling, anytime Dennis? I see you, anytime I see you, I say hi and we talk a little. How you feeling? My, you my, feeling okay? Well, I'm. yeah, I'm doing okay. Good, good. My question for you is, and it's kind of a complaint, but I went to watch Nebraska State tennis this year in Lincoln, Class B. The, uh, hi the high school, the high school tennis. The high school tennis. Yeah. These girls work really, really hard, and I, I had never heard one thing about Nebraska State tennis. It was all about track and everything else. These girls, I watch them. I have a niece or granddaughter, I'm sorry, that plays out west. And I know they work their fannies off. And I never heard a thing about Nebraska State tennis. So, like, so I want to give a little. What? Go ahead. Go, go ahead. ahead. Go ahead, Dennis. I want to give a little hurrah to the state tennis and the way these girls do work so hard. And. I just want to give them a pat on their backs for how they play. Great. Good stuff. Well, Dennis, it's good to hear your voice. Yep. And appreciate you calling. Go ahead. Continue to feel, continue to good health to you, okay? I will. I'm doing that. But I just want to give a hurrah to the girls in the state tennis tournament. Very, very good. Well done. Well put. We, we don't cover much high school stuff. Here on Sports Island, just because we're kind of tied in with the university, we've got to be a little careful about some of those type of things. But I, you know, I know ten eleven. I think gets cameras out to a lot of the to a lot of the state activities and, and state championships going on. And 
Uh, you know, I think the, the newspapers, the Lincoln Journal Star does a pretty good job of covering particularly state tennis tournaments and that type of thing. So, you know, I, it, hey, it's those, those guys that work the local high school beats, they're crazy busy trying to do everything they can. There are so many sports that end their seasons in May with, as you mentioned, state track, baseball, you've got tennis, you've got golf that are going on uh, this time of year. And then they, heck, they try to keep up with the Huskers, with Husker baseball and Husker softball. So absolutely, all those high school athletes, c- congratulations, great job for all of them and, and all their very uh, wonderful work for, uh, uh, for uh, you know, hey, it is. It's hard work. Heck, the, the, the dance squads do a lot of work and put a lot of hours into doing that thing. And I'm so grateful that we have activities for young people. I think it's, studies will show you're, if you're active and doing things off outside the school and with clubs and that type of thing, you're probably going to be a better student. You're probably going to have better grades if you're doing that type of thing. So happy for all that to, to be happening. Art, Los Angeles, Greg, what, what, what are you, when are you going to drop the tease on us? I'll, I'll do that in second hour, Art. So you, I'm going to keep you around. I'm not going to just, I'm not going to lay that out there for you right now. You're going to keep listening. Keep that for now. Folks, did you hear about the Holiday Bowl? You know the Holiday Bowl, right? I mean, we've been there like four times. Huskers played out there. Did we go back-to-back years with Bo? I think we did. Um, when the Big 12 was trying to say Mm-mm, to us because we were leaving the league, they sent us to the Holiday Bowl when we deserved to go to a much better bowl there at the end of the era of the Big 12. The Holiday Bowl is now in a lawsuit. They filed a lawsuit against UCLA, a soon-to-be member of the Big 10 Conference. And they also looped in the Pac-12 Conference. They want money for the fact that the Bruins canceled the 2021 bowl game because of COVID issues. The San Diego Bowl Game Association, they're asking for three mil in damages after the Bruins withdrew from the bowl. And I remember this, just a couple of hours before kickoff. Now, that was in the year where everybody was still testing, right? The athletes were being tested on a daily basis. The Bruins scratched because they said they had a wave of COVID-19 cases. Now, the Holiday Bowl is saying that UCLA told them that they had three positive tests. Three! And thus they canceled the game. And I remember this. This was the morning of the game. So the game's at night, sometime mid-morning, and this would have been California time, so our time might have been around noon, came out the announcement that the game was off. And I remember that year was crazy because there were a couple of other bowl games. The Gator Bowl and the Sun Bowl also had teams back out. And I specifically remember the Gator Bowl because Rutgers offered to go play. They had like a week, and Rutgers goes, we'll go, we'll take it, we'll go. They weren't bowl eligible, but they accepted a bid and they went. And Nebraska had played Rutgers right there before Christmas in Piscataway, beat them. Huskers were pretty beat up. Nebraska, I think, could have gone to a bowl game that year, but the team voted not to go. Nebraska's record was under 500, and I'm okay with I think you need at least be 500 to go to a bowl game. But Rutgers took that Gator Bowl spot. But here's the Holiday Bowl, still peeved about the fact that they left North Carolina State high and dry just a couple of hours before the game. And I don't know who's telling the truth. I mean, UCLA said they had a rash of positive tests. The Holiday Bowl is alleging they had three. Well, if you only had three, you needed to show up and play the game. And I, I get the I get the the beef that the Holiday Bowl has. The Holiday Bowl um, does not is has not announced yet a time and date uh, for this year's game. It's going to still be a feature game between the Pac-12 and the ACC. The Big Ten's done. They're not doing that anymore. Since we played out there, that stadium's gone. They took that thing down. That was Qualcomm Stadium. I know a lot of Husker fans have been out there because. Like I said, we played it in like four times in 15 years. That stadium's gone. They raised it, and they're playing it at Petco Park, beautiful baseball stadium for the Padres. Great location. It's downtown. I think it's kind of goofy playing these bowl games in baseball stadiums. Not a huge fan of the pinstripe bowl, although we could go this year. Not a big fan of the guaranteed rate bowl in in Phoenix because that's play where the Diamondbacks play. I just I don't I just don't love squeezing a football field in these baseball stadiums. I think they even do it at Fenway Park, don't they? Yeah, they do. The Fen- the, the Boston uh, Bowl, that's not a Big 12 bowl game. So there's, there's several places that they jam it into these baseball facilities. Not a huge fan of that. Love the Holiday Bowl. Love the Redcoats, those people that, that uh, run that bowl game. They do an amazing job. They put a lot of hours into it. It's really well organized. They've had fun events for the teams to take part in. 
kind of sad when it went away. But, again, they're playing at Petco Park. Now, maybe they move at San Diego State is just opening a brand-new football stadium of their own out in San Diego. Maybe they move it back out to there. I doubt it. I think they probably like the fact that Petco's in the heart of downtown. Better for bars and restaurants right near the stadium uh, to put a game in there as well. But, but this will be interesting to follow to see if this lawsuit does anything. But uh, $3 million in damages is what the uh, San Diego Bowl Game Association is asking from UCLA and the Pac-12 to make up for losing revenue. They said they lost over, um, they said they lost at least that much in ticket sales and uh, that they had to refund tickets, they had to refund sponsors' money, and then obviously you don't get T-shirt sales, you don't get concession sales when you don't have an event. I, I think that's a little on the low side of that deal, but it'll be interesting to see how, how that uh, how that goes. All right, 402-413-2400, that's the number to dot us up with a comment or question, or if you'd like, fire off a text. It's our Sports Highly Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime they've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you were looking for with Woodhouse. Back to wrap up hour one, next. Husker fans, the 2023 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need your support celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium. Purchase a special Husker football through these gates mini plan. For only $100, you will be at the Northern Illinois and Louisiana Tech games, plus your choice of one home Big Ten game. Three games for only $100. Tickets available while supplies last. Purchase your through these gates mini plan today. For more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Step up to the plate and hit a home run with your next vehicle at Woodhouse. We've got all the bases covered, from our family-friendly SUVs to our durable trucks to haul your gear. Plus, our team will treat you like an MVP and help find the vehicle that's right for you. Visit one of our 20 locations to score big on your next purchase. Or shop our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles online at woodhouse.com today. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. Hello, tomorrow. We may not know exactly what you've got in store for us, for our routines and our normals. But here's the thing. Turns out, we've got this. We haven't seen everything, but we have seen ourselves be more ready for whatever you bring than we thought we would be. So when it comes to tomorrow, bring on the day. First Interstate, built for you. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Visit us at firstinterstate.com. We're back, final few minutes. Hour one, Thursday night show. Again, our last live show of the week. We'll have a best of tomorrow night. We do this in the summertime. Give us a little pushback. uh, Get our thoughts collected. It's been a long athletic season, obviously, particularly with me with baseball for the last 14 weeks. So uh, Friday's. During June and and about half of July, we'll have best of shows. So you'll be able to hear some great interviews that we've already had on the air on Sports Highly. So Cole is in charge of that. So any complaints, you funnel them to Cole. That's where you you go with those. Let's go to Loomis and Drew. Hello, Drew. You're up next on Sports Highly. Hey, Greg. How are you doing? I'm fantastic. Thanks. Good. Hey, I just had a question. Um, Is there somewhere where fans can go online and kind of see where – um, NIL money is being spent. I know that uh, it's getting huge right now. I know BYU 
uh, last year, paid for all their walk-ons. They were paying for scholarships. I was just curious, is there somewhere, I know what the 1890 initiative, is there somewhere where Nebraska fans can kind of go online and find out, like, what we're paying for, you know, different players or what they're getting paid? I know that Casey Thompson made a little over three hundred, four hundred thousand dollars $400,000 last year. I know that Jeff Sims is currently going to make a little over 300000 Is there somewhere where we can kind of find out where the 1890 initiative, like what we're paying for some of these players? Because I think that if more fans knew where this money was going to, I think we'd all be more, uh, you know, willing to pay or, you know, give more money for this stuff. I think that if this was more well-known, where this money was going to, I really feel like more Nebraska fans would be willing to pay more money or give more money if we knew where the money was going. I just, I haven't heard a lot about it. I have a, a relative that's uh, on the staff at Nebraska, and so I've kind of heard a little bit about it, but I would just like to know if there's more information that fans could find out where some of this money is going, where NIL and the 1890 initiative is going. Well, I, you, you know a lot more about it than I do. I, I don't know those price. You, you're throwing numbers about Casey and Jeff that I, I have no clue about that. So I don't think that there is a database that you can go and see. And I think there's a little bit of privacy involved in that, too, isn't there? A little bit. I mean, this is kind of a it's whatever the market p- would pay. And I, I don't know how uh, how much they want to advertise what certain athletes are making. What did Bryce Matthews and Max Anderson get for doing those commercials for the Lincoln Airport? I, I don't know. But I do think what we need to do, Drew, I appreciate the phone call. I do think we probably need to get matt davison on the program we've had a lot of people that have a lot of questions about nil and i do too like last night somebody called and said can you make a donation to go to a certain sport i know the answer to that is yes so um again 1890nebraska.com is their website you can go find that but i don't think drew there's any place that you can go and see specific amounts that what's going into each player's pocket i don't i don't think that exists uh, nor do i think that will exist i mean if the player wants to tell you what they're making i guess they could they could certainly do that but i do think we probably need to get matt over here and just kind of get some more answers about what some of this stuff i think you're right i think more people might be willing to do that if they know it's actually getting to a student athlete that's helping us win right on the court or on the diamond or on the volleyball court whatever it may be appreciate it drew thanks for the phone call let's Finish off the hour, go to Carney and chat with Alex. Good evening, Alex. Greg, it's, it's good to hear from you. How's your Thursday going? You know, couldn't be any better. Got a little rain in my yard. I'm feeling good. That's the spirit. I got a question for you, kind of moving away from athletics a bit, but the University of Nebraska-Lincoln as a whole, I haven't been a, an everyday listener, so you might have covered this uh, previously when it was announced. What are your thoughts on uh, the new – priority uh, chancellor candidate and dr rodney bennett i don't know a lot about him alex i know he's going to be on campus i think it's next week for a meet and greet i would love to go meet him and talk to him probably won't interview him until he's confirmed officially by the board at the end of the month but credentials look pretty good and i I get the feeling ted carter is pretty high on him and so if he's if ted carter's pretty high on him i'm not going to argue with with president carter on that thing but uh, i know he's coming into town next week to meet uh, faculty members, students, and that type of thing. We probably are going to learn a lot more, Alex, I think, in the coming weeks. But uh, sounds like an exciting new venture. Ronnie Green's days are numbered. He's done at the end of June. I think this priority candidate is set to take over on July 1. Alex, appreciate the call. Keep them coming, folks. Love it. 402-413-2400. we got another hour to go. You're not done with me yet tonight. Or maybe you want to be done with me. I don't know. I'll be, I'll be back here. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Since 1993, Dakota Mac has offered fixed long-term ag real estate loans perfect for any stage of life. The rebellious 15-year loan. The here for laundry 20-year loan and the 30-year loan who thinks they can tell you a thing or two about parenting. Whatever your needs, trust Dakota Mac with your legacy. Hi, it's Nick Reno from Dakota Mac. Please call me at 308-380-7564 to learn all about our competitive rates on ag real estate loans. 
Husker fans, mark your calendar for Sunday morning, July 16th to join the Nebraska football team in the race for a cure against pediatric brain cancer. It's the 11th annual Nebraska football road race. This year, all runners start and finish on Tom Osborne Field in Memorial Stadium. The final 69 yards will recreate the iconic 2013 SB play of the year when brain cancer patient Jack Hoffman scored a touchdown in the spring game. To register, go to huskers.com slash road race. Sponsored by the home agency with support from the Lincoln Track Club. Did I forget something? No, just wanted to tell you I love you. Oh, don't forget to buckle up. Drive safe. I will. Love you too. Someone is counting on you to buckle up. Paid for by the NDOT Highway Safety Office. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that, which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. See Shelter Agent Joe Methy in Kearney, Jackie Rowan in Lexington, or Megan Fales in Cozad today.
Good evening, I'm Cole Hartman, and our sports ticker is brought to you by the 1890 Initiative. Earlier today, it was announced that Max Anderson and Bryce Matthews are officially Collegiate Baseball All-Americans. Anderson was a second team selection after a tremendous 2023 season, hitting 414 with 20 doubles, two triples, 21 home runs, and 70 runs batted in. His, this accolade adds to his unanimous first team All Big Ten honoree. Bryce earned third team selection after his historic junior year, hitting 359 at the plate with 11 doubles, two triples, 20 home runs, and 67 RBIs. Matthews was also a first team All Big Ten selection and the only Husker with 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases in a single season. The Husker volleyball team has been busy since leaving for Brazil on Monday. And you swept the Brazilian U19 club Minas TC in Belo Horizonte this afternoon. The sets went 25-8, 25-12, and 25-13 in favor of the Big Red. You can keep up to date on their adventures in South America through Husker Volleyball social media accounts. The Women's College World Series is here, and two games are already in the books. Fourth-ranked Tennessee handled fifth-ranked Alabama 10-5, and the number one team in the country, Oklahoma, shout out Stanford 2-0. Third-ranked Florida State and number six Oklahoma State are set to play at 7:20 after a weather delay, and later tonight, seventh-ranked Washington will take on 15th-ranked Utah. After battling off the Celtics' comeback in the conference finals, Jimmy Butler and the Heat are now tested with the Denver Nuggets in the NBA Finals. Game one will be played in Colorado tonight with tip-off set for 7:30 on ABC. Just a few scores to report in the MLB this afternoon. The Padres routed the Marlins 10 to 1, the Mets bested the Phillies 4 to 2, the Blue Jays topped the Brewers 3 to 1, and the Diamondbacks held on against the Rockies 5 to 4. Currently in action, the Reds lead the Red Sox 1 0 through 3, and the Guardians and Twins are scoreless in the second. And later tonight, the, A the Angels will match up with the Astros in Houston. Our sports ticker is sponsored by the 1890 Initiative. Do you want to support Husker student athletes through name, image, and likeness? If so, visit 1890nebraska.com. Now get ready for hour two of Sports Nightly right here on the Huskers radio network. Coming to you live from Memorial Stadium, it's Sports Nightly. All the Huskers, all the time. Sports Nightly is presented by the NDOT Highway Safety Office, who reminds you to buckle up and put the phone down. Heinrich, long count, turns, gives it off to Gabe Irvin, left side. Gabe, stiff arms a man, is in the end zone for a touchdown off the left end. Good. That was a gold star stiff arm by 22 to 5 Pater. And the White extends their lead to 12 0. Two on the play clock. Mertz lifts the leg, gets his shotgun snap, back to throw, has some time, rolling out, steps, throws downfield. The pass is going to be intercepted. Malcolm Hartsock at the 45 to midfield, down the far sideline, inside the Badger 40 to the 38 yard line. Mal Malcolm Hartsog's third pick of the year. Here is your host, Greg Sharp, on the Huskers Radio Network. I'm going to be ready to watch Malcolm Hartsog play again in the fall. I don't know about you all. I, what a great first year. And I heard Matt Rule talk to one of the groups that he, he has addressed that I was a, in attendance where he said, Malcolm Hartsog's why we coach. Those kind of kids. He loves him. And, I mean, he just... What a, what a great freshman year, and I know he got uh, honored at, at the, lead, the night at the lead back in April, Husker Student Athletes uh, recept, Award Show for the year, some academic awards, some athletic awards. He got honored at that, and rightfully so. Terrific young player, and one of the reasons to be excited about it. That secondary is going to be fun. We're, we'll do our deep dive with our position coaches when we get into July. We'll kind of just uh, coast it from here to the 4th of July and then really crank up the football talk. Well, I mean, we'll talk some football pretty much every night. We'll have some players on during the month of June, but we'll hit, really hit up our coaches hard when we get into July leading up into camp and to get going as well. Welcome back. Hour number two, last hour of the night, last live hour of the week. We'll have a best of show for you tomorrow night. We'll go best ofs on Fridays the entire month of June as uh, we try to recharge our batteries a little bit and get ready for another fun year coming up. We did have a text that came in during the top of the hour break about I heard that the Nebraska volleyball matches in Brazil would be broadcast in some way. Can you tell me how to access those broadcasts? Keep checking Huskers.com and the Huskers volleyball Instagram, Twitter accounts. They did stream a video stream today. It wasn't great quality, but it was streamed today. You could watch it. There's no radio coverage of these matches 
while they're down to that team today. Ugh, they weren't very good at all. I mean, Nebraska just crushed them. But, hey, the, the, I think they'll play a little bit better competition as they get going down there. And it's, what a great experience. Go see a different part of the world in a place that really loves volleyball. Brazil has some of the best national teams in the world for volleyball, so it means an awful lot to them. So uh, that, that's how you got to keep track of it. Uh, but no, no radio coverage of the matches. JB did, did not did not go. He's not he's not on the uh, not on the trips. All right, uh, I, I talked about that. I'm going to jump in a little quick NBA talk. We got game one coming up here in about 25 minutes of the NBA Finals tonight with the Nuggets hosting the Heat. I got Nugs in five. Anybody wants to take me on that? I got Nugs in five. Um, but Jack Mitchell, who's with our Lincoln affiliate KLIN. Had a tweet about an hour or so ago that said he sort of wished the NBA playoffs were just starting now. He said, I need sports entertainment options from June 1 to August 1, more than April 15th to June 15th. Would time out well with starting the season on Christmas? I know a lot of you don't love the NBA. It's not, not a prime sport around here. We're hundreds of miles away from the nearest franchise. But I kind of agree with Jack. I mean, I don't really watch any NBA basketball until the playoffs. And we always get to July. Once the College World Series, the softball World Series will be over here in about a week. The College World Series kind of gets us through the end of June. I'm, I'm, in, I'm fascinated by that every year because I love college baseball. I know a lot of you don't, but I do. But then you hit July, and it's just like, whoa. You're just like, whoa. <laughs> You're in, the, you're in the desert, right, for sports until we get to August and then NFL camps open, Husker camp opens, and you got news and stuff starting to pop a little bit. I kind of agree with Jack. If the playoffs were just kind of getting going right now, I would be watching, and then you'd ramp up to the second round of the conference finals and then the NBA finals in July. I mean, and I know July is not a good month for television coverage and all that, but um, I think it might do pretty well. I, you know, it would kind of fill that void, that July void that sports fans have where nothing really is happening. So I think it's an interesting idea, Jack. I think you got something there. I, I would run with that a little bit. But, again, I, 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 know, I know my audience. I know not, not a lot of you are big NBA fans, so I know that's probably not going to move the needle much uh, moving forward. But I think he's got a point. I, I think, you know, you're sitting there in July. It's too hot to be outside. You can't even sip on your lemonade on your porch at night because it's so hot and muggy. But I would be in there, and I could be watching some NBA. I would do that. I would jump into that. I think that would be kind of a cool cool little deal. And, yes, Cole, it would just be lemonade. It would be just straight lemonade uh, for that. Uh, Cole had this in the ticker as well. Bryce Matthews, Max Anderson, both by Collegiate Baseball today named All-Americans. Fantastic. Well-deserved honor for both those guys. Max, a second-teamer. Bryce, a third-teamer. Folks, Max Anderson had the second most hits of any college baseball player this year. He had 101 hits, number two in the country. He became the first Husker to hit 400 or better since 2001. I don't know where he landed. He landed 413, 417, somewhere in there. That is fantastic. That, that is absolutely fantastic. And it, it, this was well-documented. Bryce Matthews became the first Husker baseball player ever to hit 20 home runs and steal 20 bases in the same season. I mean, d just phenomenal years. And I I'm so grateful and so honored to be able to, to have witnessed that, watched that, called that for all of you. Two tremendous young men who are both going to get drafted in July in the Major League Baseball draft. And I, I think they both have a chance to make themselves get to um, the Major Leagues. It's, not, it's really hard. It's very, very hard to make Major League Baseball. Right now, we just have two Huskers in the big leagues, Jake Myers with the Astros and Aaron Bummers with the White Sox. I think Cade Povich is going to knock on the door of the Major Leagues soon. I think Spencer Schwellenbach now has a healthy arm. He's pitching great. You know he's pitching for the Green Jackets. That's the minor league team in Augusta, Georgia. What a great nickname. I've been to that ballpark, in fact. Uh, it's, it's awesome to be at that ballpark uh, in Augusta. But Green Jackets, you, you get the Green Jacket for winning the Masters, right? Perfect, perfect nickname. That's where Spencer is. He's only pitching. He's not playing shortstop or the infield. They've turned him totally into a pitcher. 
but he's doing great. I think he's going to move up the ladder. I could see him getting to double A before the summer's over. I could see Kate Povich getting to triple A before the year's over. Kate is in that Orioles organization and just doing great. Kate actually came to a Husker game when we played at Maryland in early May. He had, uh, we put an afternoon game. His team was playing at night. They were about 20 miles away. He drove over and saw everybody. It was so good to see Cade and um, just so happy for him and his success. But wanted just to, to make a special mention of Bryce and Max, all Americans, both of them named today by Collegiate Baseball. So well, so happy for both of those guys. Yesterday we told you Billy Andrews, Husker softball shortstop. She was a third team All American. Great job by her as well. They have had a rain delay down in Oklahoma City. There's a shock. Uh, for the College World Series. They got the two day games in, no problems. And then uh, they had some rain delay. They're about ready to start. Oklahoma State, Florida State, they're going to be about an hour and 20 behind. And then there's a game still to come later tonight. Uh, it's going to be way out there. Uh, I mean, that, that, that thing might be still playing at midnight tonight. They need about 45 minutes between games to uh, to get – uh, the diamond ready, but it's you. It's hey, it's two West Coast teams, right? They should their body clocks are late anyway. It's Utah, Washington. So interesting the way the draw came. You started the tournament off today with an all SEC matchup: Tennessee and Alabama. Tennessee won ten to five, and you're going to finish the day off with an all Pac-12 matchup with Utah and Washington. I, I mentioned this on Tuesday. Um, pretty chalky, the women's World Series. Pretty chalky. I mean, you had one versus nine. So Stanford knocked off the eight seed to get there. That was Duke. You had three versus six going on right now. Florida State, Oklahoma State, that's exactly on trend. Um, you had the four versus five in Tennessee, Alabama, and you have the seven, Washington playing Utah, the 15. That was the one big upset in the first two weekends was UCLA getting knocked off uh, in, the, in the regional round at home. They got beat which opened the door for Utah to get in there as the 15 seed. So really chalky. Will we see the same thing for the baseball? I'm going to say no. I think it'll be more jumbled up than that. But, man, well, the softball thing certainly went, went chalky. All right, 402-413-2400. That's the number to be part of the program with a call or a text if you want to uh, fire off a text. If that's your mode of, of uh, transportation or Communication, not transportation. What am I thinking of? Communication. You certainly can do that. And, yes, I do want to confirm a comment made on the YouTube stream tonight. It was made. Let me find that. It's back a ways. It's made by Ethan. He said, my wife and I have always thought Greg would be a fun guy to have a beer with. I could confirm, Ethan, I am. I would be glad to meet you. Let me know where. I am a fun guy to go have a beer with. Cool stuff. All right, when we come back, we're going to talk to Mikey Hoffer, who is a Husker men's track athlete. He's a team captain, high jumper, qualified for the NCAA championships in Austin, Texas. Next week, Huskers have 20 athletes headed there. We'll talk back to talk a little track and field. We'll do that next. From the University of Nebraska-Lincoln, I'm sports media student Connor Clark with Campus News. Engineering professor Ronald Fowler has been named a fellow of the National Academy of Inventors, the highest professional honor among academic inventors. As director of UNL's Midwest Roadside Safety Facility, Fowler has played a key role in developing innovative roadside safety technologies that are used around the world. Fowler has earned eight U.S. patents and three foreign patents over his 35-year career. That's my neighbor, Joe. Hey, Joe. Hey, John. Joe's about to make a very big mistake. Hey, Joe, you think it might be a good idea to call 811 to have your underground utilities parked before you start digging? John, that's just for big projects. <laughs> Actually, it's for any digging project. <laughs> Congratulations, Joe. You found your electric line. Remember, safe digging always begins with a free call to 811. You want to borrow my phone, buddy? Brought to you by Nebraska 811. It's time for another round of Nebraska Farm Facts. If there's one thing Nebraska's known for, it's our beef. And Nebraska soybeans feed a lot of them, and even more pigs and chickens. Farmers and ranchers raise livestock and poultry to provide nutritious, affordable protein for all ages to help build muscle and maintain energy for a healthy lifestyle. Keep that in mind as you prepare all that tasty meat on your tailgate grill. This message is brought to you by Nebraska Soybean Farmers, growing opportunity from the ground up. You already got the hat, the jersey. 
maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card, free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at fnbo.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. They say consistency is the key to success. They weren't wrong. So how about grabbing a beer that's consistently smooth, consistently refreshing, and consistently light? You might just find that the road to success can be pretty enjoyable. Michelob Ultra, the perfect balance of taste and refreshment and only 2.6 carbs and 95 calories. It's only worth it if you enjoy it. Enjoy responsibly. Anheuser-Busch Michelob Ultra Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series. Based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Cornerstone Bank proudly serves Nebraska with a full line of loan and deposit products. Cornerstone is large enough to handle all of your financial needs while offering the personal service you deserve and the local decision-making you expect from a family-owned community bank. Stop in or call one of the Cornerstone Bank locations near you to discover the Cornerstone difference. Bank on a solid foundation. Cornerstone Bank. Member FDIC. Equal housing lender. Loan subject to approval. To win the game, you gotta have more strength. You gotta be tougher. You gotta be reliable. You gotta want it more than the other guy. And you need a great team you can count on, backing you up the whole time. Whether it's in the field with your Massey Ferguson or on the field with the Huskers, red is the color of getting it done quicker, smarter, and efficiently. So this season, make sure you're checking out the lineup that'll get more done where and when it counts. From your Nebraska Massey Ferguson dealers. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next. Expect what's possible from Valley. Visit us at valleyirrigation.com. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Step up to the plate and hit a home run with your next vehicle at Woodhouse. We've got all the bases covered, from our family-friendly SUVs to our durable trucks to haul your gear. Plus, our team will treat you like an MVP and help find the vehicle that's right for you. Visit one of our 20 locations to score big on your next purchase. Or shop our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles online at woodhouse.com today. Back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, which is sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Delighted to be joined tonight in studio by Mikey Hoffer, who's a part of the Husker men's track and field squad. 
One of the qualifiers to go to Austin next week for the NCAA championships. 20 Husker athletes have qualified for the NCAA championships. Nebraska is going to be a factor in the team totals on both the men's and women's side. Mikey, great to see you. Congratulations. I know this is your last year competing. Pretty good way to go out, huh? It's an amazing way to go out, and it's such a blessing to be here, too. So. What? Tell me about, you know, you, you've had quite the path. I mean, when I went back and was looking up some of your high school stuff, did you graduate in, like, 2018? I did. I'm kind of an old head now, but, yeah. I've been here for the past five years, and I've loved every second of it. And the so. COVID year was obvious in the middle of all that, so that kind of reset everybody's clock. Yeah, this is basically my COVID year making up for lost time. But. Well, this has been a special year. You qualified in the high jump for next week down in, in Austin. Take me through last week. The Sacramento meet, what was that like? There had to be a lot of intense pressure to try to get yourself one step further into the NCAAs. For sure. Well, for me, at Kansas State, which was the meet before Big Tens, right. um, I was just warming up, and I stepped off the high jump pit and stepped on a metal rail and had a very severe high sprain. And on your ankle? On my ankle, yeah. And for the moment, you know, I looked down at it, and I was like, that's a good chance that's broken. Um, but... You know, we went to urgent care, we checked it out, and, you know, thankfully it was just a high sprain, but these high sprains that I had, they said they can last anywhere from, like, 40 to 60 days. But we went to rehab every day, four to five hours. Um, Davey, Raf, Emma, the guy, those guys in the training room helping me out, and my coaching staff. I went to the Big Ten championship team to be a great cheerleader. I was thankful I was able to come along. Um, but in that time, I was rehabbing, and when we got to Sacramento, um, almost a week before, I was still having trouble running on it. But, you know, I was like, a little tape, maybe some drugs, and some adrenaline will just get me going. And we were able to pull it out in the end. So, Did you have, when, when you did it, were there flashes through your head, this is it, this is how it's going to end? <laughs> I, so, yes, yes. When that happened, when I rolled my ankle, um, I was like, this might be it. And... You know, I sat there, and we kind of had our banquet that following, um, I guess, the day after that meet. And I was sitting there with all my fellow teammates just kind of, like, reminiscing on how great this career has been. But there was just something in me. I was like, I don't want to be done yet. And I think, you know, just going in and out every day of rehab and just fighting my way back um, all paid off, and I'm so glad it did. But. Well, so you, you did not get to participate in the Big Tens, which was a special moment for Husker Track because yes. they, the men went on and won the, the team title. Yes. What was that like? And you couldn't compete, so you couldn't help add points. Right. But what was it like just to watch your teammates kind of lift their whole performances up that weekend? Right. My biggest goal was to lose my voice that weekend <laughs> and, you know, to help anywhere I can if I'm recording or if I, I'm out at the end of a runway and I'm just yelling. Um, it was a cool experience being on the sideline. It hurt for sure. But I was so happy for everyone and how hard they competed. And I was just happy I could be a part of it in some way. You know, track is, is an individual sport. And yet, there all that kind of comes together for a team concept of the whole thing. How do you, how do you process that in your mind? Because you're all trying to do your own thing. But right. I, I guess is there just something different about it, the team concept of it? I, you know, I think when everyone that comes here, to just like you and Al, they come here for themselves mostly right but something that's special is that happens that we formulate this bond of brotherhood sisterhood between each other we're w with each other every day in practice in the training room and when we get to moments like that we really understand that we've all been in it together and i think because of that and with the high stakes and the pressure and everybody counting on each other that's when like this team becomes a real team and you could see it on this past big 10 championship where everyone pulled it out so Mikey, there's an old saying that says, banners hang forever. That 2023 will hang forever as a conference championship, and you were a part of that team. That'll, that'll be something you can always reflect back on. All right, sure. so you have the injury. You're trying to rehab. You mentioned some people that were help, helping you kind of get through that, but I kind of want to dig a little deeper. For sure. Coach Jonas is, is your jumps coach. What's he meant to you? How big of an impact has he had on, on your career and maybe even your life beyond the, the track? He has taught me some valuable lessons and I am beyond thankful for him. Um, he's a funny guy. We go back at it, back and forth in <laughs> practice. Um, but for every moment and every injury, every success, every failure, he's been there. He's been there to push me, push me to the max. And even some days where I feel like I can't do something, he makes sure to change that mindset and say like, you're capable of whatever you put your mind to. 
and um, that paid out, especially for this week going into Austin, because um, right after we qualified, or I qualified, he comes up to me, gives me the biggest hug, and he tells me to never let anyone tell you what you can or can't do, and that just fired me up going into this week, but um, he's been special to me, and I'm so thankful for him. How about the competition amongst you, your own jumpers and your own school? I mean, yeah. Brass has got a couple of the better high jumpers in the country, right? Yes, I am so fortunate. We've been, to my understanding, we've been the number one high jump squad these past six weeks. And that's something that's been a huge goal of ours between like Mason Connor and I, since we've come in as freshmen, that's something we wanted to build here. And to be a part of that and to be a part of these great athletes, um, it's just been so cool. It's like iron sharpens iron. We're going back at it and we're just getting better every day. Mason didn't qualify. That had to be heartbreaking to see that happen. That that really hurt. Um, all of us were not expecting that, but it doesn't change that he's a Husker legend, and he's an amazing teammate, and he's a brother that I'm going to have going forward. And it hurt, but I hope that Tyus and I can carry that on for him. And I believe he's still training for USA's, hopefully. So the season's not quite done yet for him, but so thankful for him. It's different from the indoor to the outdoor, right? Because during the indoor season, if you hit a qualifying mark sometime during the year, you're automatically qualified for the NC. Is that right? Yes. But in the outdoor season, you got to qualify on a certain date. Yes. So indoor, top 16 make it. Um, but outdoor, they have that regional meet, top 48. And it's kind of just whoever makes it, makes it. So the pressure's high. And, yeah. you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. But... Um, I wish he was on the other receiving end. I wish he was coming with us, but it still hurts. But we're going to do everything we can for him. Well, I mean, it's like the Olympic trials in a way. You got to try to make. You have one one meet to try to make the team. So uh, that's pretty crazy stuff. All right, I asked you off air. I said because you've been you're so good at a lot of different things. Long jump. You even did triple jump. I think in high school, high jump. Do you have a favorite? Is it the high jump? It's going to have to be the high jump, only because of the amount of hours I've probably put into just jumping over stick. <laughs> but, um, yeah, definitely high jump. I, I think jumping in general, I love long jumping too. The sand can gotta get a little annoying. But other than that, yeah, I would say high jump's my favorite. Yeah. All right, you grew up in, in Kansas, Topeka, Kansas, uh, Shawnee Heights High School. How did you get here? Tell me, take me through the recruiting process that landed you in Lincoln. For sure. Um, so... Early on in my recruiting process, I was reached out by um, many schools, but I would say Wichita State, K-State, and Nebraska were my top three. And it was kind of just like a close, like, what's going to work better? Um, how's financially going to work? But um, I actually didn't know about Nebraska until the end of my senior year. And Dusty gave me a call, and he's like, you should come on a visit. And I came here, and I loved every second of it. And him and Pepin came down home in Topeka and talked to me too. And I think something about that was just so special. And I knew that Nebraska would end up being my home and it just ended up working that way. So, no regrets. No regrets. I've, I'm a Husker for life, man. So, Take me off the track. What did you study? I know you've already graduated. What was, what was kind of your focus? And 10 years from now, what do you want to be doing? Um, so I graduated with my undergraduate degree in business management and I got a certificate in marketing and I've accepted a um, sales marketing representative job in Kansas City for Tektronic Industries. Um, but with that, I'm just excited to use what I've learned here and to move forward. And um, it might be a little broad, but I'm excited to take that next step when it comes. Fantastic. We talked about your ankle injury that happened just right before the Big Tens. But that's not the only injury you've had to deal with, right? You've had some things that have happened to you since you've been in Lincoln that have kind of kept you from competing. Yes. I feel like almost every year there's always been something, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, I came in, and in the fall of my freshman year, I developed severe patella tendinopathy, and I ended up having to get a couple of procedures and some injections. And here and there, I'd have some hamstring strains, which this year I also had another hamstring strain at the beginning of the indoor season. But um, it's nothing that I wasn't used to, if that makes sense. It's like, okay, this happens. Get back into the training room, rehab it. Let's go. Let's keep going. It's the beauty of the sport. Um, it's unfortunate sometimes, but it's part of it. So, so the folks in the training room got to know you really well. Oh yeah, they're they're, they're some Nebraska. good friends of mine now. <laughs> so. Well, they're kind of the unsung heroes, aren't they, for college athletics? Yes. Because so many athletes, whether it's your sport, gymnastics, football, but whatever it may be. 
those people spend hours upon hours getting you guys rehabbed and ready to compete again. Yes, they deserve the spotlight more than anybody because they're taking that time to make sure that you're getting ready, that your body's up for the moment, and um, they put the hours just as much as the athletes do, so very thankful for them. All right, next week, Austin, Texas. Going to be kind of warm down there. Usually Texas in June is going to be pretty pretty baking. Take me through the week. When do you leave? When do you compete? What's the schedule look like for you next week? So to my understanding, I believe we leave Sunday, so pretty early start, but I think that's good. Um, we'll get in there on Sunday and give us a few days before competition starts Wednesday to kind of get used to the atmosphere, get used to the weather, just everything around there. And I believe high jump is Friday night, 730, so we'll be under the lights. Um, I'm super excited for that atmosphere and being down there earlier this season just to witness that. Um, I'm excited to be down there jumping in it. More fun to jump outdoors or indoors? Got to go outdoors. Yeah. Love outdoors. I love the sun. Um, but the, the wind, wind? The wind. The wind can suck, but I, the sun just takes over. So I love the sun. Well, yeah. Mikey, congratulations. So happy for you to qualify for the NCAA championships. It's been so much fun to follow this team from the indoor season, and I know it was disappointing not to win the Big Ten in the indoors, but you, the team got it done in the outdoor season, and it'll be a memory you'll carry forever. Let's go make more and more good memory next week, would you? Most definitely. Mikey Hopper with us here on Sports Audio. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, folks, buckle up. Put that phone down. It's a reminder from the NDOT Highway Safety Office. We're back to talk about the Nebraska Shrine Bowl, which is coming up Saturday out in Kearney. We'll do that next. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get high chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars during the month of June. Get four one pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd-pleasing, award-winning High V Chinese today. Some restrictions may apply. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. Step up to the plate and hit a home run with your next vehicle at Woodhouse. We've got all the bases covered, from our family-friendly SUVs to our durable trucks to haul your gear. Plus, our team will treat you like an MVP and help find the vehicle that's right for you. Visit one of our 20 locations to score big on your next purchase. Or shop our selection of new and pre-owned vehicles online at woodhouse.com today. Husker fans, this is Matt Davison with the 1890 Initiative. You've probably heard about NIL, name, image, and likeness, and now you can have an immediate impact on the success of our programs. The 1890 Initiative is a proud NIL company in Nebraska, and with your help, we can maximize our student-athletes' opportunities with NIL and prepare them for life after college. Nebraska has always been a leader in college athletics. Let's do the same with NIL. To learn more, visit 1890nebraska.com, where 100% of your donation goes directly to Husker student-athletes. That's 1890nebraska.com. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. Dear gas prices, go take a hike. Toyota is the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. The Toyota hybrid lineup brings efficiency with power, savings with style, and top-notch tech to keep you connected. Not to mention plush premium interiors and the most advanced Toyota safety features. So, now you know who you're talking to. Toyota, the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years. Toyota, the brand with a hybrid or electric vehicle for every driver. Toyota, the brand that helps save you money at the pump. Now, let me ask you a question, dear gas prices. You really think you can stand in the way of the number one retail brand for electrified vehicles for 22 years? <laughs> think again. Toyota Hybrids. Find yours at Toyota.com. Toyota, let's go places. Based on manufacturer estimates, see why 2000 through 2021 sales. SOS to the rescue. SOS to the rescue. 
As the Huskers head to halftime, Frank is off the couch and headed for the fridge. Ooh, but he can't make it because he is so hot. The air conditioner is out again. SOS, he screams and calls SOS Heating and Cooling, his favorite Luxair dealer trusted since 1950. With Luxair, you get a free 10-year labor warranty with a new system. SOS Heating and Cooling. SOS to the rescue. When you're prepared for life, you get more out of life. When you're prepared, you spend less time worrying and more time doing the things you love. How prepared are you? When you're ready to find out, Emeritus is ready to help. First, we get to know you. Then we make a plan together, one that lets you enjoy today and prepare for tomorrow. That's what we call fulfilling life. Emeritus, insurance, employee benefits, financial services. It's more powerful than the legendary Husker option offense. More powerful than the black shirt defense. It's the sun, and you can harness its power with JTEC Solar. JTEC, the official solar energy experts of the Huskers, can help you shrink your energy bills and start saving money now. Solar power is clean, affordable, and it's dependable because the sun always shines on the Huskers. JTEC Solar for your home, business, or agriculture energy needs. Visit JTECSolar.com. Celebrating 50 years in the commercial real estate development industry in Omaha and nationwide, Noddle Companies is proud to continue its tradition of supporting Husker athletics. Check out what's new in Omaha, which includes revolving recreation and the food hall at Zone 6 in Exarban Village. Another exciting project coming soon are the Blackstone Urban Row townhomes. Noddle Companies, creating long-term value through community development. For more information, visit noddlecompanies.com. Go Big Red. Welcome back inside our Huskers Radio Network Broadcast Center, sponsored by Acres. They are the Midwest premier John Deere dealer, supplying the equipment and service to advance agriculture and much more Acres solutions for every field. Saturday is going to be the 65th annual Nebraska Shrine Bowl out in Kearney. One of our good friends, Doug Duda, from the Doug and Daddy Show out in the Tri-Cities, joins us now. He's going to be a part of the call for the television broadcast over the weekend. How you doing, my friend? Having a good summer or a good start to the summer? It just flies by, doesn't it? Yeah, so far so good. Well, this is always a fun event, a great cause, obviously, uh, that goes to these, these hospitals that do just amazing work. And I know they've tweaked the way they do things. I'm not sure the kids get to fly to one of the hospitals anymore, but it, this is a fun thing to be a part of, isn't it? Yeah, and even the Shrine Bowl folks, Dave McDonald, the executive director, a few years ago talking about how expensive it was to fly the kids out there. And then they'd only get to visit one or two kids. We moved into HIPAA and all that. It wasn't like it was back in the 70s, 80s, 90s. And everybody loves the new format. More kids, more families come out. They call it the Beyond the Field experience. They had that Monday and uh, you even get to have it earlier in the week, and I think it impacts the kids, and then they can kind of settle into to football. But uh, they, they love being able to do it now the way they do it because they can interact with more of the Shrine kids. Doug, I know you've been around the camp for the last couple of days. What kind of talent are you seeing as they get ready for this game Saturday? No, oh, man, there's great talent, even though you may say that there's some of the Division One kids that uh, might not necessarily be here. They're going on and, and getting to their camps early, but... There's a lot of good talent. Uh, the, the feeling here is Michael Huffman in Bellevue West. He's the head coach of the North. That uh, They have maybe more the names that you would recognize. The South kind of coached by Mark McLaughlin at Platteview, more of that meat and potatoes type of team. We may see two different styles out there, but uh, there's definitely talent. Uh, you've got kids that won gold medals at track just a couple of weeks ago or state football champions or wrestling champs. Heck, we got a couple of kids that are their all-time school scoring leaders. Uh, there's such a variety here. Doug, this would probably be a case where for some of these guys, this is the last time they're going to put the pads on, right? I mean, they may go on and play college sports in some other, some other sport, basketball track, whatever it may be. But for a lot of guys, this will be the last time they play an actual football game, right? Yeah, no doubt about it. Uh, we got a couple of the Carney kids right here that that's the case. I mean, Traven Beckman, uh, he is going to be uh, the starting, well, one of the quarterbacks uh, out there, and he's moving on to UNL. And Jack Dahlgren, uh, one of the kids we talked about, he's moving on to UNL. So lots of things from all over the state of Nebraska uh, getting uh, getting taken care of here. But, yeah, um, some of them are going on to play small college ball. But like you said, Greg, uh, this will be it for football for some of them. 
Night kickoff at for at on the UNK campus. I think this has been a good spot for how 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 much does Carney wrap their arms around hosting this game? Well, Carney always does a great job of hosting events when they have the opportunity, anywhere from state cross country to the Shrine Bowl. And yeah, the big banquet will be tomorrow night. Uh, over 650 people will be on hand: players, parents, Shriners, and and then uh, the parade on Saturday. Football game on. Saturday night, and heck, they have a Shriners band where there's like 150 to 175 kids that come in and donate their time to be here and do a pregame and a halftime performance, and, and Carney loves having it here. It would have looked, Greg, if you still had it at Memorial Stadium, maybe a little bit smaller than what you get for a Class A football championship game. Yeah. Again, busy and Doug Duda of uh, our affiliate out in the Tri Cities, or the part of the Doug and Daddy Show. He'll be on the call on the call and broadcast of the Shrine Bowl Saturday night. You know what? Give me some memories you've had of this game. Some players that you remember seeing making plays in the Shrine Bowl in the past. I'm testing your memory here. <laughs> yeah, you're you're making me old, is what you're doing here, buddy. <laughs> you are. We both are. Yeah. You know, it's actually now been in Kearney for a while, and some of the things they do is they, they'll talk about the teams from – I've got my hands actually on a program, Greg. They, this year they've got the 1973 team in there, which was the 15th anniversary, and you look back at you know some of the names that were there and some of the coaches that went on and coached at Nebraska, like a Frank Solich, a Cletus Fisher, guys like that that coached in this game. Uh, you know, Mr. Brockmeyer uh, out of Aurora a few years ago who went on to Nebraska as kind of a backup, uh, threw the ball all over the place in his Shrine Bowl appearance. And you just got it, – it's been a little bit more defensive the last few years, and sometimes that's not as colorful as getting a 200-yard rusher or a 300-yard passer in this football game. But there's been some good memories. Uh, a couple of years ago, 54-yard field goal ended up winning this this game here in the Shrine game at Kearney. So uh, even the kickers uh, become involved, and I think we got a couple of good ones again this year. One of them is down the road from uh, little old Amherst, Nebraska, Nolan Elo, and he's going to be uh, one of the two place kickers. Man, those are the stories I love. The, the, those kids from those small towns, they get a chance to step on the football field with, with maybe a Class A player or a Class B player and kind of test their skills out and see how they might have uh, how they might have managed had they gone to a, a bigger school. You mentioned the coaches, the head coaches for this game, Doug, and it, it's got to be kind of an honor for these guys, isn't it, to be chosen to be a head coach of one of these all-star games? Yeah, they did a little something different this year too, Greg. 65th anniversary, and there are more coaches on the staff than there would ever been. Usually you had a head coach, and then maybe he would bring one of his assistants, and then the Shrine would pick the other. Well, this year, each side has 12. You've got a head coach, two associate coaches, and they each brought a couple from their staff. And uh, Mark McLaughlin from Platteview and Michael Huffman of Bellevue West are the first coaches to be the head coach in the Shrine Bowl for the second time in their career. Plus, you had to be an assistant before you're ever a head coach, so this will be the third time for each of them. And some of their assistants, this will be the third time uh, on, on staff. And so uh, it's a little bit different from uh, learning from more than just uh, four or five coaches. you got 24 of them here. Wow, that's a lot of coaches. Doug, do they still have the parade on the day of the game? Saturday morning, 11 a.m., the scooters will be going around and the football players will be there. It's absolutely everything you remember, Greg. Every time you went to some local uh, fair or parade where there's a Shriner, that's what it's going to look like Saturday morning. Oh, that, that is fantastic. What do you think, the North, a little bit, a slight favorite in this thing as you analyze it? Well, you know, I, I went to my boys uh, to find out uh, what, what the line might be. And when we talked to Mark McLaughlin earlier today on our show, he kind of had that, everybody's talking about the North, everybody's talking about the North. And so I think the feeling would be that the North would be a slight favorite. But in this Shrine Bowl game, you never know. Absolutely. Running the ball, defense, trying to get together in a week and be good. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. They're all all-stars. No doubt. I'm sensing a little chip on the shoulder for the South players. I love it. Let's go. Well, it, you know what Huffman and Bellevue West like to do. I mean, Daniel Kalen and all that chuck the ball all the way around. And we've got, heck, we've got an all-state quarterback in the Kudlicek from Hastings St. Cecilia threw for over 6,000 yards in his career, and he's not even going to be one of the quarterbacks. I mean, that's the kind of talent you've got in this game. So I think it's going to be a flash and pizzazz for the North and what Bellevue West does. 
And uh, what Mark McLaughlin, as I said earlier, kind of that meat and potatoes, grinded out. They got Colazzo as one of the running backs out of uh, Aurora who was a super stater, and it's going to be great. It's going to be great to, to see maybe the contrast in this. Fantastic. Kickoff 6 o'clock, is that right? That is correct, Saturday night. Well, have a great broadcast. Hope it goes well. I'll be, uh, I'll be tuned in and watch some of this. I think this is fantastic and, and love everything this game represents, and uh, I'm so glad that you have a chance to be a part of it. Well, I appreciate that, and it's always an honor to be on with you, Greg. There's Doug Duda, part of the television broadcast of the Shrine Bowl on Saturday night. Uh, the Nebraska News Channel has the television version of that 6 o'clock kick on the UNK campus. Doug joined us on our Sports Highly Hotline, brought to you by Woodhouse, where you can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com. Anytime, they've got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned that you can always find what you are looking for with Woodhouse. We're back with more Sports Highly coming up next. More Nebraskans are choosing chiropractic care first. Studies show that chiropractic is safe, drug-free, and the most effective treatment option for back, neck, and joint pain. It can also help patients of all ages reduce migraines, improve mobility, and maximize athletic performance. Keep the entire family healthy and active with natural, cost-effective chiropractic care. Find a chiropractic physician near you at nebraskachiropractic.org. Get your life back with chiropractic. Husker fans, the 2023 Nebraska football season is right around the corner, and we need your support celebrating the 100th year of Memorial Stadium. Purchase a special Husker football through these gates mini plan. For only $100, you will be at the Northern Illinois and Louisiana Tech games, plus your choice of one home Big Ten game. Three games for only $100. Tickets available while supplies last. Purchase your through these gates mini plan today. For more information, visit huskers.com slash tickets. Go Big Red. For a delicious dinner on the go that will please the whole family, get high chai at High V. Right now, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars during the month of June. Get four one pint entrees, two pints of rice or lo mein, and eight egg rolls or crab rangoon. That's right, get a High V Chinese dinner for four, just twenty-two dollars now through the end of June. Dine in or carry out the crowd-pleasing, award-winning High V Chinese today. Summer stretches may apply to throw has some time rolling out steps throws downfield the pass is going to be intercepted Malcolm Hartsock hey Husker fans tune in tomorrow for an encore presentation of Sports Nightly in the six o'clock hour we'll listen back to the athletic director show with Trev Alberts in the seven o'clock hour we'll go back to conversations with Taylor Christopoulos Julian Asibe and Isaiah Garcia Castaneda tune in to your local affiliates or at Huskers.com or by using the Huskers mobile app go big red Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. You already got the hat, the jersey, maybe even the occasional red and white face paint. So kick things off right this season and add the FNBO Husker Visa debit card to the list. Pay loud and proud for every Husker decal, t-shirt, or hot dog at the game. Wear your heart on your sleeve and in your wallet with the Husker Visa debit card. Free with any checking account from FNBO, the bank of Husker Nation. Get yours today at FNBO.com slash Huskers. Member FDIC. At CHI Health Clinic, we believe health care should be personal because knowing your provider personally makes appointments more comfortable, more productive, and more meaningful to your overall health. Get matched with a primary care provider based on your personality and lifestyle using CHI Health Clinic's My Provider Match. Take the survey at myprovidermatch.com to find the right provider for you. Getting healthier starts by getting personal at CHI Health Clinic. Husker fans, you have the opportunity to be a part of the 100th anniversary of Memorial Stadium this fall by purchasing a Through These Gates mini plan. It's a three-game ticket package. It's been on sale for about 10 days now. It's priced at $100 for three games. It's both non-conference games, Northern Illinois on September 16th, Louisiana Tech on the 23rd, and then you get to pick one of the five Big Ten home games, Michigan, Northwestern, Purdue, Maryland, Iowa, to fill out your package. The seats are in the north and south end zones. 100 bucks, three games, $33 a game. That's really good price, and you can be a part of the 100th anniversary of the stadium and also Matt Rural's first season as Husker head coach. Uh, the ticket office op is open 
uh, Monday through Friday, beginning at 10 a.m. And you can go on huskers.com slash tickets online and do it yourself if you want to do that as well. It's called the Through These Gates Mini Plan. I'm hearing they're going pretty well uh, for that. Looking forward to the season when it gets here in about 100 days. Looking forward to that Shrine Bowl coming up on Saturday. That is always such a fun event. All right, got a lot to a- lot of things to answer both from text and in the chat room. Andy in the chat room says, Greg, have you worked on your golf game? Not yet. It's coming. Got to get out there. Uh, I'm moving my daughter this weekend, so this weekend's kind of busy, but maybe next week I can get out and hit the little white ball a little bit. Also, he wants to know, do track athletes make NIL money? No, not really. I mean, they're, they're available to do that. Maybe some of them have some small deals, but they're not on a large scale, not a real large scale deal for track. But again, they, they have the opportunity to do that. If, if a certain company wants to, to latch onto one of them, they're certainly allowed to do that. But I don't, I'm not familiar with anybody in Nebraska doing that right now. Uh, Jim in Columbus, Greg Cole, anybody out there have any inkling of who the concert is after the volleyball match? I don't. Do you, Cole? No. I don't. Okay. All right. I think we got an announcement coming any day now. I was told early June. Well, today's June 1st, so maybe any day now. Um, I floated the idea of maybe the NBA moving their season back a month and having their conference finals and the championships in the month of July. Patrick in North Platte says, sorry, I'm camping, swimming, fishing at that time. Okay. Uh, Mark says the NBA Summer League is pretty cool. A lot of these guys are, uh, it's about two weeks of pool and tournament play. Games are on on Vegas. They're televised. Check it out if you haven't. I have. I can't get into it, Mark. Sorry. I mean, they're games that don't matter. I mean, they're just like exhibitions, really. So I have done that, but, yeah, that's that's not for me. I think I would love watching Joker play the Heat on July 20th. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, Art in Los Angeles. Greg, I can confirm you are a very fun guy to meet. Next time you come to L.A., I'm buying Art deal. I met Art at that San Diego series uh, for baseball the opening weekend. Uh, great guy. And, yeah, I'd love to sit down and – have a cold one with Art. That'd be cool. Uh, Crypto said, Greg, with no game to call this weekend, maybe you can watch a movie. That's not a bad idea. You know what I want to see? I want to see Otto. I want to see that. That was that Tom Hanks movie that came out a few months ago. I think it's on Netflix now. I may, I may go try that. Crypto also said it's going to be sad. There's no baseball. I'm with you, Art. I'm with you, Crypto. I wish I was at a regional tomorrow. I will watch some college baseball, though, this weekend. I will uh, so, call, so call that up uh, this weekend. I, you know what? I'm even going to root for the Big Ten teams. I think it's I think it's important that the Big Ten continues to show their might in the ball bat sports. I wish Northwestern had made Oklahoma City. They did not. They got beat by Bama, and th- the best of three got beat in game three. And I hope the Big Ten baseball teams, the three that are in, do well. So, all right, tomorrow night, uh, I think we're replaying Trev's show, right? We had Trev's show about a week or so ago. You'll hear that tomorrow night in its entirety. That was a great show. Um... Hold on. Cole sent me the text earlier. Just shout it out, Cole. What else we had tomorrow? Uh, men's gym, Taylor Christopher. Oh, Taylor Christopher. Yeah, he, he went to the Pan Am Games. Yep. Won a medal. So. We got uh, Julian Asibe, a women's uh, basketball assistant nice. coach. Newly Amy hired. Williams, new hire, yep. And then we'll finish it out with an interview, uh, Isaiah Garcia Castaneda. Love IGC. Nice stuff. So that's your best of show tomorrow night. Jessica's back from vacation Monday. Look forward to having her back. Hey, our Sports Nightly Hotline, which was hopping the night, brought to you by Woodhouse. You can shop your way from one of the 16 convenient locations or online at woodhouse.com anytime. they got 18 brands and a huge selection of pre-owned. You can always find what you are looking for at Woodhouse. Thanks to Cole. Thanks to all of you. Have a great weekend. Back with you on Monday. Hit us up on the text line. Text 402-413-2400 with your Husker thoughts. In America, the future belongs to everyone. That's why we make trucks like Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight and counting. Made for performance and capability. Made to play hard and work smart on and off-road. That's because they're built Ford tough. So be future ready with Ford F-Series, based on 1977 to 2022 calendar year total sales.
Husker fans, mark your calendar for Sunday morning, July 16th to join the Nebraska football team in the race for a cure against pediatric brain cancer. It's the 11th annual Nebraska football road race. This year, all runners start and finish on Tom Osborne Field in Memorial Stadium. The final 69 yards will recreate the iconic 2013 SB play of the year when brain cancer patient Jack Hoffman scored a touchdown in the spring game. To register, go to huskers.com slash road race. Sponsored by the home agency with support from the Lincoln Track Club. It's time again for some Nebraska farm facts. For Nebraska soybean farmers, sustainability is a way of life. 97% of farms are family owned and 95% are participating in conservation programs and using sustainable practices. And they have significant sustainability goals by 2025. 10% more energy efficiency, 10% less land and 25% less soil erosion. This message is brought to you by Nebraska soybean farmers. Growing opportunity from the ground up. Farmers can make what seems impossible reality with a little hard work and ingenuity. They find solutions to reduce inputs and improve their yield. Valley Irrigation is no different. As the leader in irrigation technology, we deliver results and optimize your operation. Because when you have a vision for the future, you need the people that can make it possible by your side. Expect what's next.